Section 5.6, Special Products. If I have the terms 3x plus 2 and the whole thing is parentheses, uh, in parentheses and it's squared, it means I'm going to take 3x plus 2 and multiply it by itself 3x plus 2. So you just have to expand it out and the same rules apply. You distribute the 3x, so 3x times 3x is 9x squared. 3x times a positive 2 is plus 6x. Now you distribute the 2. 2 times 3, that's another 6x. And 2 times 2 is a 4. Combining the middle terms, I get 9x squared. 6 and 6 is 12, so that's a 12x plus 4 for the final answer. 2x minus 1, the whole thing squared, is 2x minus 1 times 2x minus 1. So I distribute the 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2x times a minus 1 is a minus 2x. A minus 1 times 2x is another minus 2x. Minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1. So I have 4x squared. Minus 2 times, or minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4x plus 1. So again, you add the numbers, keep the variables the same when you're adding. This one here, again, I distribute x times x is x squared, x times a minus 4 is a minus 4x, 4 times x is plus 4x, 4 times a minus 4 is minus 16. Notice uh, the middle terms are going to drop out here. So I have a x squared, minus 4 plus 4x is nothing, so it's just x squared minus 16. This one will do the same thing. So x times x is x squared, x times a minus 1 is a minus x, 1 times x is plus x, 1 times a minus 1 is minus 1. Again, the minus x plus x in the middle will make a 0. So the final answer for this is x squared minus 1. m squared times m squared is m to the 4th. m squared times a minus 1 is minus m squared. A 1 times a m squared is plus m squared. A 1 times a minus 1 is a minus 1. Again, the minus m squared and the plus m squared drop out. So this is going to be m to the 4th minus 1.